Well, hallelujah. I'm recording it, but uh, just treat it like a small session here. Be fun. Don't worry. I just felt like uh, teaching John 17 today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. John 17. Just to the Lord was just speaking to me about some things the last few days. Some good stuff, so. Just want to uh, share a little bit with y'all. Um, wow. Glory on you. Glory on the gospel. So I'm teaching today. Shaka. Uh, oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. fun class earlier. Just wanted to talk about um, just things that are on my heart like I just I know that the uh, the ministers that the Lord is releasing right now their primary concern is just going to be the presence of God. And uh, I just so have it in my heart you know I just wanted to release it. I, I was just thinking with the Lord the last couple of days about when this move of God is happening out of our bellies and uh, whoa I believe that this place is releasing like a caliber of ministers like no other place on the planet and uh, Shaka and so you know Obviously, the Lord's honing in our theology and whatever, you know, giving us truth, and that's so key, and that's good. I mean, it's like one of the most powerful things about it, because knowing the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. The real truth. But the real truth is the presence of God. And uh, I just have it on my heart that as we, you know, the Lord's going to be entrusting <coughs> all of us with, with hundreds and thousands, maybe millions or some of us will be discipling even like a billion people, you know, like crazy amounts of people will be coming to feast on the table that we've laid out for them <laughs> by the Holy Ghost, you know. So the truth is is good, and the, um, the truth is primarily a person, obviously. <laughs> and I think, you know, I mean, what you say is important, but I just, I just want to encourage us. It's that presence that we're carrying, you know, and uh, just never want to lose sight of that. I want to lose sight of what happens when the glory of God breaks out in a place. It's far beyond anything you might be talking about, and uh, I just, I'm just gonna look at John 17 today. A lot of glory on it. Let's read a few things here. It says, uh, Jesus spoke these things, and lifting up his eyes to heaven, he said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, even as you gave him authority over all flesh, that to all whom you have given him he may grant eternal life. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on the earth, accomplishing the work which you've given me to do. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. 
Whoa! I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I just, uh, Lord, I just thank God for the glory realm that is so real <laughs> that we're that we're walking in and learning like how to operate in and just, um, you know, whoa, we have like a lot of information that we're going through in the school and lots of whatevers, but. Like, my heart is for us just during this time, like, to just be so aware of him, you know? Wow. And uh, that's why, you know, my heart is to partner with, I love partnering with Matt in the school because something that Matt carries is, like, beyond whatever message he's speaking, there's just a tangible, like, realm of God. <laughs> and even Harfush, you know, like, when Harfush is speaking, there's a realm of God that is, like, on what he's doing. You know, Shaba, and so like there's there's a lot of glory, you know, on whatever you know they might be saying, but like love is, it's like those the vibrations of the presence of God are so much more like like real <laughs> than words, <laughs> and uh, I love words and language, but and I think what you know. I love tapping into the move of God over, you know, throughout history and what our forefathers carried. There's a lot of glory in honoring, like, the forefathers and honoring those that have gone before us. And uh, I think the, the thing that, that if there's anything that's been broken through in the last hundred years is there's been so much more of a tangible presence than I believe even in the, the 1800 years before. Whoa! And uh, some of these guys may have not even had good theology at all. But they, there's something about real theology is like, go, it's a lot of times people are experiencing it, they don't know how to say it. You know, they don't know how to put the words on it. Like they, and it's not about that. It's not about the information. And I, I just believe like, even in this, whoa, this drunken glory and the finished works message right now, it's like there's some there's something that wants to make people into finished works Pharisees. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that have all the right language. Yeah. And like they can tell you exactly how it's supposed to be. And uh, but you're like there's <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> like, if you're not feeling the love of God, you know? And uh I mean, I'm going to keep, you know, speaking truth and I love talking about it. But what I love is like when you, that person goes away feeling profoundly loved. Like the presence of God has such a, such a realm of love that's so much greater than anything in the world. Whoa. That like when people touch that presence, they're changed forever. They're wrecked forever because they felt so loved. Like they just felt so much I mean, something different, a different world. And that's, you know, that's what I believe Jesus is talking about here. Like, oh my God, the glory that, that, whoa, which I had with you before the world was. Like, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this whole chapter, I believe, of John 17, you know, he just begins to say, like, Father, like, let him walk in the glory. <laughs> and, uh, he gives us. He actually gave us the, the glory that he had with the Father before the world was. What the heck? <laughs> it's like, how can you sit around and just talk about information when you have the glory that was with the Father before the world was? <laughs> it's like, wow! Like, like preachers that get up. And so, like, the thing is, dude, like, I love, you know, Whoa, I love when you encounter those ministers where like you just there's just a realm around them and you're almost terrified it's so like great it's so good you know like there's a where you know like this person is ministering from heaven the words that they're saying are from heaven <laughs> and uh, that's the realm that we can walk in all the time and that's why I love you know we're creating uh, we're creating atmosphere here where mystics can grow and like and just thrive and be themselves like we're gathering a bunch of people who seem weird to the rest of the world because they're tapping into this glory and they're beginning to walk in it. And I just want to encourage us as like, you know, we're going through a training school or, or whatever. And, and, uh, 
I'm not going to speak most of the school, but I just wanted to like say something today and just say like, you know, we're coming out of this place. Like take this time, even when you're sitting in the classes, you know, like even if you're not connecting with whatever's being said and just like trance out and connect with that realm. And, uh, <laughs> the realm of the truth, the real realm of truth, you know, which is like the person of Jesus, like just, just letting that person of Jesus make you into just a wild glory person, you know, <laughs> like, whoa, like, mm. So I believe this is what, you know, what the Lord has been doing over these years. It's, it's all culminating, you know. It's always a grow, it's always from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory increase. And I think, you know, this last hundred years, it's been something that our forefathers have walked in this realm where, you know, I mean, you think about Maria Woodruff Etter or William Branham or these guys, you know. I mean, some of them had no idea about theology, but they changed the world with the presence and uh, I'm, I'm just unashamed to say, like, I would, I'll take the presence over anything any day. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take the presence. And it's not like you have to sacrifice one for the other, you know? You can have it all. It's not a sacrifice. Yeah. Like, well, you don't, it's, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to turn down theology and say, well, you know, whatever. Like, but all I know is, dude, like, the presence, dude. <laughs> I think, you know, that's what you find, like, places like Bethel and, like, Bill Johnson, like, you know, they're just, like, they love the presence. I mean, they have some good theology, too, you know, it's okay. But, dude, and and I love, you know, when they're, like, those guys are honoring the forefathers. What they're honoring is the anointing on their lives, you know. They're honoring that realm that they walked in. And uh, I know that you guys are, like, you guys are the ones, you know, that are going to take this to the next place. So, like... That Maria Ruth Eder is looks like a you won't even tell those stories because your stories are way crazier, you know. Where Finney and all these guys like no one's looking back to them at all. Yeah, John G. Lake or you know all these heroes. Well, we we take what they did and we we acknowledge it and we honor it and we allow the glory to become even stronger and more intense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's like where theology becomes just words yeah, yeah. instead of substance yeah and like the theologians I love theology but the theologians okay. that we that I want to produce are those that know him by direct experience and like the scripture it complements the presence certainly the absolutely and, it, and like yeah. a lot of scriptures are like doorways into different parts of the presence you know they like lay something out before you. That's why I love, this is the glory that I have with you before the world was. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, what was that glory before the world was? Then all of a sudden you're there. <laughs> and so like none of it contradicts each other, but it's like, oh man, like there's just something about encountering somebody who's real, who's really tasted and seen, you know, that. And, and you guys do. And like, I mean, you really do. Like, I love the glory on your guys' lives. You're crazy mystics, you know. And uh, I just, I just, man, I just want to read this even more. <laughs> because there's something here that the Lord was like, I just feel like the Lord has given me something the last couple of days, you know, just for us. And he says, and, and it's, and it had related to this glory realm. Like, I have manifested your name to the men whom you gave me out of the world. Whoa, they were yours, and you gave them to me. <laughs> I just love this. This is like, this is the inner workings of the Trinity here, right? <laughs> and they have kept your word, and now they have come to know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words which you gave me I have given to them, and they received them, and truly understood that I came forth from you, and they believe that you sent me, and I ask on their behalf. I did not ask on behalf of the world, but those whom you've given me, for they are yours, and all things that are mine are yours, and yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. <laughs> I'm no longer in the world, and yet they themselves are in the world, and I come to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, the name which you've given me, that they may be one, even as we are. 
Well, sha ba 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 ba. Oh my God, it's so drunk. While I was with them, I was keeping them in your name, which you give, have given me, and I guarded them, and not one of oh. them perished, but the son of perdition, that the scripture would be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, so that they may have my joy made full in themselves. <laughs> I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I did not ask you to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. And as you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For their sakes I sanctify them, that I sanctify myself, that they themselves may also be sanctified in truth. Oh my God. And we'll go on. But dude, there's, there's all this mystical power, this atmosphere of the Father talking to the Son, the Son talking to the Father, the Son bringing us in to the things of the Father, that we could taste them and we could manifest them and that nothing could touch us, that nothing could take you out of that realm. You know, that like, and I'm just envisioning people that wherever we, we step, we carry that realm, like where, whoa, like I just, I love it. And you, you know, there's that, there's that tangible place. Like there's a place where you can say the exact same thing that someone else said or the exact same things you said yesterday, but all of a sudden today, it's like changing everyone. And that difference is just the presence. You know, and you guys know this stuff, but like, whoa, I just want to give you permission, you know, again. <laughs> and say, oh my goodness, friends, like, listen, just sit, you know, just find a place where you can just sit and let that cloud just like get so heavy in you, you know, just burn so heavy on you. That like, when you walk up to someone and you, just touch them and like, like set into that realm. <laughs> the joy of the Father <laughs> being full in us. Oh. I just, oh, I just lose this. I just know that there's ongoing like there's ongoing increasing manifestations of glory that are going to be happening as we tap in during this time and uh, i mean it's 2012 for god's sake you know <laughs> oh the world's gonna be over there, well the world well, as we know it <laughs> I, just, I, yeah, I just know that the lord's been speaking to me about 2012 for years like the world is gonna end <laughs> and uh it's not like it's something different than what was but it's just there's times that are just they're destined you know there's times of destiny and uh Oh my God, dude, and glory. There's just times of destiny. Oh, so here we are. Here we are. And I just know that, you know, I just hear the Lord say, you don't have to do anything that isn't, like, increasing that realm in your life, you know? Like, if there's no juice on it, just, because there's a time, this is a time for us to just, like, I mean, my God, and this is a safe place for you, like, we're going to, we're going to provide that atmosphere, like, where even if, you get criticized for going too far out, like, we'll, we'll defend you, you know? <laughs> like, if you're, if you're living in, in, in this place, if you're in Fort Wayne, I'll, I'll help, you know, I'll help you. <laughs> like, my job is just to create an atmosphere where you're allowed to go as far out in that place as you want. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Sorry. We're joining the party. Oh, Halloween. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I was just saying that there's my part of my job here is to create a, create a place where you can go as far out in the presence of God as you want, and we will we will 
defend you. <laughs> we will say these no, like this person is okay. <laughs> like if this person this person's been gone in a trance for a week, we will we will put you in a room where you can be air conditioned or heated. <laughs> And no one will bother you. <laughs> if you have to get if you have to get carried out of some place, we'll find a place where you don't have to get carried out of. <laughs> I was just saying the Lord just put it on my heart today to just to just talk about the presence, the importance of the presence above all things. Above all things. The importance of the glory of God above all things. Lord, I just thank you for that childlike experience of your glory again. <laughs> like the first time, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord will show you ways. Um, the Lord. <laughs> the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. <laughs> oh my God. The Lord. 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 The Lord will show you ways. The Lord. The Lord. That are really individual to you. Yeah, it's good. Of, of um, how to release that glory. Let's hear the Lord saying that. There are ways he's going to show See, uh, whoa. Lord. 
You got this message, but there's something today for every person here. For a manifestation. Yeah. I thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. The Lord. <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> Woo! The goal, the goal of all of all life and ministry is to bring people to that place where they can just sit there and 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 such waves of glory are washing over them that they feel like they never, they don't ever need to move, mm -hmm. they don't need to do anything, and if everything <laughs> fell apart in front of them, that they'd be okay <laughs> because they're in such a tangible right. experience of that glory, you know. Like everything we're doing, it's like I don't care about just, you know, oh my God. I love the gospel and I love talking about Jesus because that's those are the truths that unlock the heart to sit in that place. But information doesn't, it's like so secondary to whatever. See, the Lord's going to show you individual ways and that's your manifestation of your ministry and life of how you specifically feel that realm being released through you. You know what I mean? You don't need to look like somebody else or do it some other way. Yeah. Ministry isn't just oh, preaching and teaching or like standing in the pulpit or standing up on a platform or having a microphone. That's good. But, dude, I mean, this whole community, just the testimony of this community, the way that we were launched into the glory that we we're doing now was just when, like, a few of us started tasting that that presence and we just started getting into it anywhere, in someone's house and somebody – we go over to – friend's house and turn on colored lights and lie on the floor you know we turn on music just really loud and just trance out or we drive around in car cars at four in the morning just getting drunk i mean it, whatever the glory was on because there's that yeah. you could feel those 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 ways and like it's in a, in a i think as we begin to rest in that glory cloud and unplug from as i was teaching earlier that the world if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father's not in. The world is simply just, you know, being so involved in that other system that you don't have even time to just sit in the glory, and to rest in the glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about a quiet time, like from 9 to 10 o'clock. I'm talking about just like no pressures, you mm -hmm. in the glory, mm -hmm. you in the presence. You know? yeah. When you step up, a lot of you are going to get opportunities, and every moment of life is an opportunity like to, to minister and you just want to get up and you just, all you know is that if that presence isn't vibrating all over the atmosphere, that then we might as well just shut it down, you know? All, that's all you know, you know? You're bald. <laughs> <laughs> it's that tangible cloud. It's that, and this, okay, I'm going to keep reading. It's this thing, he says, he says, uh, whoa. The glory which you have given to me, I have given to them. <laughs> and just say, you know, whenever there's something going on, it you just, you know, there's ever an issue, you know, there's ever like a problem or whatever that you're, you just can, you can just sit there and say, wait a minute. The glory that was with the Father before the world was is right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What problems? What means problems? What mean? What means problem? What means sickness? <laughs> And you feel that it's, you know, when you're in the glory, you can, you can, you may have laid your hand on a person that said the same prayer yesterday, and then the next day they get healed. Right. And you're like, what was the difference? Right. All I know, dude, is when you're in the glory, you feel the power come out of your hand, <laughs> and the person gets healed. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Wow.
<laughs> so I'm just jealous for that, you know. I'm just so jealous for that presence. I'm just jealous. I'm in it. Jesus. <laughs> We're not, oh man, we're not perpetuating facts. We're not, the finished works is great. But like I said earlier, I don't want any finished works Pharisees. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I don't want any gospel Pharisees. Yeah. You know? You know, because like some guys knew the scriptures better than ever. And Jesus showed up on the scene and said, you don't know the scriptures or the power of God. <laughs> and these guys were like the best teachers in the land, you know. Whoa. Come on. Yippee. Come on, Lord. But if you if you encounter someone and they feel supremely loved and they feel the tangible presence, you just preach them the gospel. Whoa, yeah, yeah. You just taught them the greatest doctrines that they could ever be taught. <clears throat> Bam. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. Oh, zero. Can you help? I'm gonna go help. Oh, how old are you? 